I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and this is a TriStar lever action shotgun. We've all come to know the TriStar brand as the self-proclaimed value experts, but we've known that in the over and under market, the pump actions and the semi-automatic hunting and defense guns. But now they're going an entirely new direction with their Turkish made lever action 410 LR94 line of shotguns. The TriStar LR94 is proving to be a heck of a lot of fun on the range and certainly would make a practical small game hunter as well. You just have to make a conscious decision to run the lever with authority, pull it tight to activate that safety, and be mindful of that dial safety. And when you do that, and the gun's broken in, it's been running just fine. Like all other lever action 410s on the market, the TriStar LR94 chambers two and a half inch shells. You can't throw those three inch high brass magnums in there, but that's really not a problem. These guns are built to handle any of the shorter 410 shells. With the right choke, you can handle all of them. To that end, we get three different models of TriStars launching simultaneously, each accepting interchangeable chokes. We've got the one we have here. They're all aluminum receivers. This is the nickel silver finish with Turkish walnut. They all have Turkish walnut. You also have a choice of matte bluing or a sweet color case hardened finish. With those three model variants, shooters have a choice of two barrel lengths, either 22 or 24 inches. The test gun that we have here, where's the 22 inch barrel? We've got, as I mentioned, the Turkish walnut stock, which finishes in a slim rubber recoil pad. You'll see we do have sling studs on the TriStar, and in a nice cowboy style move, a leather wrapped loop. This is the smaller loop, so we don't have the big loop. If you're wearing gloves, that might be something to take into consideration because that's a pretty tight fit just with bare hands, but it also allows you to run that action a little quicker. We see here a little bit of play in the lever on the TriStar, but not a lot. We've got the leather wrap loop. We've got the rebounding hammer, the tang safety, and also our dial safety. We run that action. We'll take a closer look here. We see at the receiver, the loading gate here for your 410 ammunition, which goes into the magazine tube. And we'll see here not a full length, but rather a half length magazine tube. So you're getting a five plus one round capacity, which is limited from a full length tube, but really that's still plenty of 410 firepower when you're loaded up with ammunition. We do have to note that right out of the box from the factory, TriStar ships that with the magazine plug in place. So with that plug, you're limited to two rounds in the tube and one in the chamber, which is a legal requirement in many areas if you're hunting. We look down the gun and we see here a adjustable rear rifle style sight that matches up with a brass front bead front sight. And we'll see there in the muzzle, the interchangeable choke tubes. Our test gun here, as we mentioned, has a 22 inch round barrel with the choke tubes that gives us an overall length on the gun of 40 and a half inches and it weighs in this particular model at 6.3 pounds. It's a fairly nicely balanced gun. It feels good in the hand. We have the Turkish walnut stocks here with the press checkering, gives us a length of pull of an even 14 inches with that thin pad. So that's a nice average length of pull that works fine for me. I prefer sometimes a slightly shorter pull. Somebody with longer arms and a larger frame would like something maybe even longer, but it's really a nice sweet spot in between. The gun comes up well, balances nicely, and points well. Loading up the TriStar LR94 is a little bit more of a trick for me. I don't have a lot of finger strength and it takes it to get those shells in there. I found that using the next round lets me get that first one in there. And I know there's only room for two in the tube with the plug, but I use my next round and then that pops it in there. It's just too difficult with my fingers to push them in. You'll see actually it shaves a little bit of the plastic off when you're feeding them. So that's a little bit of a trick on the TriStar. The LR94, when you purchase it, ships in the standard TriStar black cardboard box. You get a TriStar choke wrench in there, but the one thing that we have mixed feelings about is you only receive one choke. We got the modified choke that was included in the barrel. There's no choke tube case the way you get with some of TriStar's other action shotguns. There are no extra tubes. So 
They are available. You can get them out there on the market, but they do not come with the purchase of the gun. We don't have an issue with not including choke tubes when you're talking budget price guns, which is what you get with a lot of the TriStars, but are great value buys. The issue we have here is the MSRP where these start at. When I pay that kind of price, I really expect some choke tubes to come with it, maybe even a hard case, but you know, it's just my preference. Some people won't have a problem with that, and a lot of folks never even change out the choke tube, but I like to have that option. With any of these value-priced and value-built guns, I always like to spend ample time on the range. It doesn't always run well right out of the box, and that's what we found here with the LR94. That action, a little bit stiff, and not the smoothest right out of the box. You need to take the time to clean it and lube it before you head out to the range. Once you do that, plan on running a few rounds through it. This is a two and a half inch chambered gun. You can't grab magnums and run a few rounds through and, and break that in right away. You need to spend some time with the two and a half inch shells and enjoy yourself while you're shooting. And as you do that, we found that the gun breaks in. It feeds better, it runs better, and it really sets itself up for future success. One thing you'll notice, we're running some rounds through it to break in the action. I have to really make a conscious effort to pull up on that lever when I shoot. You have to fully depress that tang safety, and you'll see on that last one, I didn't. I was holding it normally. You need to really squeeze that tight. There's lots of things I like about the LR94. I like the Turkish walnut stocks. I like the slimmer butt pad. I like the way that the action is breaking in. I like the way it comes up and it feels good but there is something that I take issue with. One of those being the very oversized dial safety. I don't think that needs to be quite as aggressive. I know there's issues there with putting safeties on imported guns. It's a requirement for the company, but I'd like to see that done in a little more understated way. The other issue is the rifle style rear sight. It's fine to have a rifle style rear sight. This particular one is very boxy. The edges on this are sharp. If you reach in the box or in your gun case, and accidentally run your hand across it, I got some nice scratches by doing that. So you wanna be aware, that can hang up and it's sharp. The front sight is fine. Having the choke tube options is great. The gun looks good with that nickel silver Cerakote. Looks good with the checkered walnut, the leather wrap loop. There's a lot to like, but there's a few considerations you must make as well. Thanks for joining me for this look at the TriStar LR94. If you're in the market for this, any other lever action shotguns or any used guns at all, check out that guns.com vault and be sure to give us a like, share, and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the content hitting our channel, especially lever actions like this one. <laughs>